My name is Lisa, and I'm a pregnant housewife. I live happily with my husband, Noah. On this day, I'm home, Lisa. How are you doing? Welcome home, Noah. Thank you for always caring about me. I'm doing well, thanks to you. How's the baby in your belly doing? Is it growing well? It's fine. It's growing well today, too. I see. Did you have any trouble with anything? Noah, I understand you're worried about the baby, but you don't have to ask every single time. Aha, I know, I know. But the due date is getting close, isn't it? I just get antsy and end up asking. Really, you should try being on the receiving end of being checked on four times a day. Sorry, sorry. Wait, could this be stressing you out and having some kind of effect? It's not stressing me out, I'm fine. Come on, go change, and let's have dinner. Oh, right. Got it, I'll go change. Oh, I'll take care of the dinner preparations later, so Lisa, just sit and wait for me. Yes, I'll leave it to you then. That's Noah. We were both looking forward to meeting our child like this. One day, we were visiting my in-laws who live nearby. So, Lisa, is the baby in your belly growing well? Yes, thanks to you, it seems like I will be able to give birth to a healthy baby. You can tell just by looking at her belly, right? Both mother and child are healthy. Is that so? Well, this is our first grandchild, so I'm a bit overexcited. Dad, you don't need to worry so much. The baby in her belly is growing just fine. If you check too much, Lisa gets tired, so try to take it easy, all right? Uh, I see. I'm sorry. Hey, Lisa, he's talking about himself right now, isn't he? Yes, he's basically repeating what I told Noah the other day. These are my in-laws. They were also very excited to meet the baby in my belly. While we were all happily chatting, my brother-in-law, Yosef, came back home. Ah. Uh. Welcome back, Yosef. Sorry for intruding. Hey, Yosef, come here. We bought your favorite cake. I don't need it. Don't talk to me. Yosef, that's no way to talk. Yosef, at least greet people properly. You're so noisy. I'm thinking about a college assignment I have to submit. Leave me alone. What, Yosef? Where are you going? Really, I'm sorry about this, Lisa. No, it's fine. I'm not bothered. Well, he probably really is in a pinch with his college assignment. Even so, that's no excuse for his attitude. Yosef gave a curt reply and quickly went to his room. My in-laws were angry at his attitude, but we didn't mind too much. A few months later, I safely gave birth to a healthy baby girl. Lisa, thank you for everything. Look, it's our baby. Yes, we can finally meet her. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. If you're going to say thanks, say it to our little girl here who worked hard to be born. Thank you, Madison. We've been looking forward to meeting you for so long. Madison, from now on, let's have a happy life together, the three of us. We decided to name our daughter Madison, and Noah and I swore to protect her for our entire lives. Some time later, Noah had to go on a business trip, so it was just Madison and me at home. Then, one day, I suddenly received a call from Noah. Hello? Good job at work, what's up all of a sudden? Did something happen? Hey, Lisa. Where are you right now? Huh? Why do you ask? You can't answer right away. It must be true then. Huh? What are you talking about? I got a call from mom while I was on my business trip. She was worried because we've been leaving Madison with her every day recently. Are you okay? What? A call from your mother? I wanted to confirm it with you right away, but my business trip ended earlier than expected. I was planning to talk to you when I got back, but when I arrived home, no one was there. Lisa, where are you and what are you doing right now? Wait, I think there's a big misunderstanding here. Please, don't try to dodge the question. I had to go on a business trip right after the birth, and I know I've put a lot of pressure on you, Lisa. I'm really sorry for that. But even so, you shouldn't leave Madison with my mom every day without telling me. That's not right. Please, just calm down for a second. Just come back home now. Let's go pick up Madison together. Noah somehow managed to calm himself down as he spoke. However, it seemed like there was a big misunderstanding, so I decided to tell him the facts. Noah, seriously. Calm down for a second and listen to what I have to say. I get it, Lisa. I know there must be circumstances on your end, and I'm part of the reason this happened. I'm really disappointed in myself. I promised to protect both of you, and then this suddenly happened. Wait a minute. 
Noah, you've got it all wrong. I've never once left Madison with anyone. What? But, but your mom should be taking care of Madison right now. So I thought maybe Lisa, you went out to blow off some steam or something. I'm actually shopping at the supermarket right now, and Madison is with me. Look, I'll switch to a video call so you can see. Hey, even though the background is the supermarket, Madison looks so radiant. If you take such a cute kid outside, won't she get involved in something? Wait, Madison is there with you. So Lisa, you didn't leave her with your mom. Yes, that's right. Phew. I'm glad we cleared up that misunderstanding. I mean, if it's absolutely necessary, I might ask for help prioritizing Madison, but didn't we make a promise that day? That we would protect Madison for our entire lives? Do you think I would let her out of my sight that easily? Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. Yes, we did. Sorry. I guess I lost a bit of my judgment because I was missing Madison. No, it's okay. I know you were just worried about us. I'm not mad. But now I'm wondering, whose child is your mom taking care of? Yeah, that's right. Mom is definitely taking care of a baby. Right. Well, there's no point in guessing here. You're at home right now, aren't you? I'll head back now, and we can go to your parents' house together. Yeah, let's do that. Lisa, I'm really sorry for doubting you. I was just panicked and confused. Yes, it's really fine. We've cleared up the misunderstanding. Actually, I would have been mad if you had stayed calm in that misunderstanding. Thank you, Lisa. I'm so glad you're my partner. I love you, Lisa. Thank you, me too. Hey, aren't you going to say it back? Sorry, Noah. I'm at the supermarket, and we're on a video call. People overheard your previous line. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Well, that's embarrassing. Anyway, please take care and come back home safely. Yes, I'm heading back right now. Wait for me, okay? After that, surrounded by the oddly warm gazes of the people around me, I went home, met up with Noah, and we decided to head to his parents' house with Madison. Upon arriving at the in-laws. Hello, sorry for the sudden visit. It's been a while. I've come with Madison. Oh, Lisa. Welcome. Oh, on Madison. There are two Madisons. What is going on? No, Madison has been with Lisa the whole time. So, the question is, who exactly is this child? Who, you ask? We've always thought this child was Madison. Just to make sure, you didn't actually have twins, did you? Yes, if we had twins, we would have certainly brought both of them to greet you. I thought so. But this means... Yeah, I'm just as confused. And mom, Lisa said she never once left Madison with anyone. That's right. Now that I think about it, we've always received this child from Yosef. Ah, uh, that seems we have no choice but to ask the person directly. After we finished confirming the situation, we all waited for Yosef's return home. I'm back. Welcome back, Yosef. Could you come here for a moment? Uh, what? I'm tired and just want to go straight to my room. Tell me, Yosef, is this child really Madison? Uh, I've been saying this the whole time, this is definitely Madison. I was directly asked by Lisa, so there's no mistake. But Madison is right here. And besides, I've never once asked you to take care of Madison. What, Lisa and big brother? Why are you here? We got a message from mom saying she was taking care of Madison. But when I checked with Lisa, she said she'd never left Madison with anyone. So, we came to confirm directly what was going on. Directly? Didn't you say you were on a business trip, big brother? You're a working adult, aren't you? Is it really okay to leave your job like this? My business trip ended earlier than expected. You're obviously trying to change the subject. You've always been terrible at hiding things. Now, Yosef, please explain what's going on here. Who on earth is this child? Confess. As we continued to question him, Yosef's complexion grew worse and worse. And when we pressed him about the baby... Sorry, I admit it, saying this child was Madison was a lie. Of course it was. The problem is... Whose child is this? I might have been feeling affection for someone else's child. Dad's affection? What are you talking about? Your intuition is right. This child is Big Brother's secret child. He asked me to keep it a secret no matter what. What? No a secret child. What a revelation. So my grandfather's senses weren't wrong after all. Dad, unfortunately, that child is not my secret child. Yes, I don't think that child is Noah's. He's been with me all the time, so there's no way he could have cheated. Hwa, you can't be sure of that. You never know what a man might do. You, don't use me as your cover. 
If you weren't my brother, I'd be furious. You never know what a man might do. Oh, wait. Come to think of it, this child sort of looks more like Yosef than Noah. Now that you mention it, he does seem to resemble Yosef more than Noah. Hey, Yosef, what's going on? Are my senses working properly? Confronted intensely by father-in-law, Yosef seemed to resign himself and admitted. Yes, it's true. The child is mine. Ha ha, see. My grandfather's senses are the real deal. Hey, Dad, keep it down, will you? Yosef, are you serious? What's going on here? Whose child is this? It's a child with my girlfriend, who is the same age as me. We found out she was pregnant, but we didn't have any money and didn't know what to do. So, she ended up giving birth. Yosef, how could you be so irresponsible? Just because you didn't have money. Is that the attitude you had when you decided to have a child? I had no choice. I was scared and couldn't do anything. Even so, why did you leave the child with our parents? Until now, my girlfriend had been taking care of the baby, but it was getting tough and she felt like she might become depressed. So she asked them to take care of the baby and I couldn't refuse. Don't be ridiculous. If you were that overwhelmed, why didn't you consult with us? Because I knew it would just lead to being scolded like this. We're not mad about the pregnancy or the birth. We're mad because you've been running away from your responsibilities. Because you only think about yourself. You've made Lisa, who has absolutely nothing to do with this, go through a terrible experience. Do you realize that? What the hell? Why are you so mad? Why can't you understand the pressure I've been under, enduring it all by myself? Watching Yosef plead with a face on the verge of tears, I... Yosef, calm down. I understand that you were scared. The reality you had to face was too much to handle and you couldn't talk to anyone about it. It must have been really tough. But this isn't right. It's unfair to the child. But I can't take care of a child. Even if I wanted to, I don't have the financial means. I'm just a student. There's nothing I can do. Yes, you might be right that you can't do anything about it as things stand now. By the way, what is your girlfriend doing? You said she is in the same grade as you. She dropped out of college and is working part-time. I've told her that I'll work and earn money after I graduate. Ha you. That's just not going to work. Yosef, you should drop out of college and start working. And you should raise this child together with your girlfriend. What? No way. If I drop out, I won't be able to get a decent job. Considering the child's future, no amount of money will ever be enough. Wake up for goodness sake. It's your petty stubbornness that's driving your girlfriend into a corner, isn't it? Now is not the time to be talking about the future or anything like that. Yosef, you are already a father to this child. No matter how hard it is, you need to be aware of that responsibility. Make up your mind. You're past the point where you can just think about yourself. But I'm scared. Me, a father, a parent. That's just impossible. Stop being spoiled. Don't turn away from reality. Face it head on. It's not about whether you can or can't do it. You have to do it. How can someone as full of anxiety as me be a parent? I wish they made parenting require a qualification. If they did, I could be more confident in calling myself a parent. Yosef seems torn between his fear and his desire to face his feelings. In light of this, I... I completely understand your anxiety. While taking care of Madison, I always wonder if I can really be a good parent. I feel the same way, Yosef. I try not to show it, but I'm always filled with doubt. But, you two are doing such a great job as parents. Thank you. But even though it might seem that way, we're still figuring things out, walking forward with our insecurities in hand. I think every parent probably feels the same way. This is reality. Exactly. Becoming a parent is a journey that you go through as your child grows. Bring your girlfriend over next time. Let's all sit down together and discuss what to do next. You're not alone. If anything happens, we're here to support you. From now on, let's face our challenges together and become great fathers. That's the spirit. Now, understand. Contact your girlfriend quickly. It will give her some peace of mind, too. Heck yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. In this way, Yosef, with tears in his eyes, went to contact his girlfriend. He then brought her to his in-law's house, where they all discussed what to do next. It appeared that the girlfriend had not yet talked to her parents about the baby either. So, Yosef and his in-laws went to meet with them, to greet, apologize, and discuss the future. 
fortunately, her parents were understanding, and they forgave Yosef under the conditions that he would start working immediately and consult them if anything were to happen. A few months after Yosef quit college and found a job, he and his girlfriend registered their marriage. They didn't have a ceremony but held a small celebration with both their parents and us. Thus, Yosef and his girlfriend, while struggling with the unfamiliar task of parenting, spent their days full of smiles, warmly watched over by their families. And as for our family… Look Madison, it's daddy. <laughs> yes, that's right, duh. <laughs> ah, oh man, she's too cute. I can't get enough of Madison's cuteness. Hey, Noah, you've been repeating the same thing for a while now, are you okay? Eh. No, I can't help it, Madison is just too cute. Seriously, you're always like this when you come home. Hey, you do the same thing, don't you? I saw you doting on her when I came back home early the other day. I can't help it, Madison is just too cute. Wow. Uh -huh. Um, yes, it can't be helped. She's just too cute. I do think you should do something about that villainous smile, though. Since then, our lives have revolved around Madison. Noah is utterly smitten with her, refusing to leave her side when he's at home. He even tries to take her to the bathroom with him, to the point where I have to hastily stop him. While it's a heartwarming scene from an outsider's perspective, it would be troublesome if it continued this way forever, so I hope he can maintain a proper distance. And it's definitely not because I want to monopolize Madison when he's not around or anything like that. And I definitely don't do similar things when Noah's at work during the day. And so, our family happily dotes on our adorable Madison, spending our days in bliss. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more great content. Just click on the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. See you in the next one.